Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. I'm also the review editor of the Barrister Journal and today I'm looking at a couple of the supplements which the Barrister magazine has been publishing. There are two supplements that appear. One is the uh, lifestyle supplement and I've got some examples here to show you. That's what they look like. They are 32 page pullouts. We'll talk about those in a minute. And the other is the um, personal finance and wealth and management, uh, wealth management supplement. Here are some examples again from the magazine. These are 32 page pullout sections which have appeared in recent years. The um, finance, personal finance uh, supplement appeared um, in 2005 and the lifestyle. Um, supplement appeared in 2008 so they've been going for a long time and they are actually extremely useful in terms of the content that one has um, to know in the wider context uh, of, of what we do in our everyday lives. One of the reasons why I'm very pleased about these uh, particular supplements is that they add a certain addition to the uh, journal itself because obviously the content in the Barrister magazine is very heavy in terms of the legal issues that we are looking at and so what you've got is I wouldn't say light relief but you've got a certain uh, approach to, to just change the subject slightly, but to give us a broader picture of where we are, both in terms of the sort of lifestyle we have and the sort of things we might be doing in terms of our um, personal finances and how we actually um, order ourselves as um, barristers of law. One of the reasons I say this is quite important is many members of, of the bar will know that we have the, um, the bar ex exec uh, member benefits portal which is available for those who subscribe and I, I do I found it very useful I get a percentage off on online um, purchases so it's actually quite helpful and of course the Bar Council have been keen with a recent survey to get some idea of the type of people we have at the bar, what their interests are and getting a general picture of, of what we do and who we really are and where we come from. Obviously some of the um, reported comments haven't gone down quite as well as they might do but the, the important thing to remember is that um, you have to be a rounded individual if you're a member of, of the bar because council deal with a very wide variety of different types of client and of course it's quite useful to have a bit of small talk when you're uh, hanging around waiting to go into court and you've got to deal with the client and put the client at their ease. It's useful to have topics of conversation. It's also nice to see the various places around the world that you can go to. What I did like about, for instance, this one, which is the most recent one I've got from earlier this year, is the lifestyle um, section. Um, and it deals with all sorts of interesting places. Many of them overseas. It's about visits, um, a whole range of, of lifestyle issues, tailoring. Very important to make sure you look the part when you're in court. And if you're at an American bar, it's very, very important. It depends on how loud the suit and the tie are. It used to be at the New York bar. I don't think it's quite like that anymore. But however, we are different because we wear robes. This is another one, a very interesting part of the world, New York. And again, you've got a whole range of, of interesting uh, points. Um, got things, for instance, again, like Miami. And you've then got other uh, particular issues looking, for instance, at the Caribbean. And of course you may have clients who come from the Caribbean who uh, would be very interested in, you know, just talking generally. You can put them at their ease quite quickly. You've also got things, for instance, women in law dinner. That was covered rather nicely. So it gives a bit more of a personal approach. So the content itself has been, you know, very, very heavily geared towards us. Luxury in the Balkans. It's nice to have a weekend away. There are weekend breaks and various other things. So the lifestyle supplement is, is really useful to have. And that supplement comes actually in the Easter edition, uh, the Easter term edition of the Barrister. The other um, supplement is the personal finance and wealth management supplement. It's this one here. And I've got several examples. This is the more recent one. What you do have is you have an index 
um, which sets out what the contents are. You can see that there. There is, of course, an index on the lifestyle one as well, uh, which just sets out what, what the issues are and what the articles are, so that you can see quite quickly what you might be looking for. What we've got with the um, personal finance and wealth supplement is um, quite a substantial emphasis on investment. There are some advertisements, of course, but there are some useful articles. For instance, uh, a classic is uh, five tax sheltered investments you could consider. Um, the sort of portfolios that you might have. Again, it's part of the, for instance, this is another one, how much do you pay for your portfolio? It, it's part of how many people organise their finance when it comes to a pension pot because we are self-employed as members of the independent bar we're not going to get pensions so we've got to make our own arrangements and I think this is a very useful um, general discussion um, about the sort of areas that you might wish to go and look into more detail about what you might be doing with some of the money you've earned from, from your work. You've also got things like UK property issues and of course London is a is a particular hot spot and making sure that your finances are in order and we've also got things such as um, HMRC dealing with um, how we deal with the revenue particular issues concerning uh, what we do as barristers which are possibly slightly different from uh, the normal way in which um, um, tax is actually um, uh, worked out the reason being that we as barristers, of course, have our own little section on the um, HMRC tax return, so it's useful to know about it. I've, I've found this very useful. For instance, there's a, a very interesting article in one of the earlier editions, Investment Special, Why London Central Residential Bucks the Trend. And, of course, that's important because one thing that we do have to recognise, and I realise for the provincial members of the bar, can be difficult but London London is basically the centre it's where the High Court is I know that we travel around a bit but at the end of the day London is very very much pivotal in all of this what I have liked about both of these supplements is the fact that it gives us additional information and it gives us a little bit when we're reading the the main magazine itself for instance that's the magazine You've got all of the articles there, but what you've got in here is you've got some additional stuff, which is something just slightly away from what we would be looking specifically at uh, if we're reading the, the legal content of the magazine. So I'd like to thank everybody very much for what they've done. We all read the um, Sunday supplements, I certainly do, um, and I find them very interesting in the newspapers. I do read the main section for the news, but I like to see the Sunday supplements as well because they add that gloss, and that's really what they've done here. As I said, the content is extremely useful certainly I've found it very helpful and I know a lot of colleagues have as well and another thing as I've said is that it just gives you that little bit of an edge so that you've got a little bit of conversation if you need to have it when you're hanging around waiting which is one of the problems we do have when we're at court so thank you to all concerned and I hope these supplements are of, of going to continue and be of great help in the future to all concerned thank you very much bye bye